guys, so it's Friday. <laughs> Thank goodness. Um, I'm finally taking my lunch break. Um, it's been a manic, manic Friday. And it's National Christmas Jumper Day. So I have Olav on today. My nice warm Christmas jumper. Um, yeah, cannot wait for this day to be over with guys like me. There is actually a Christmas tree on wheels. What is happening? <laughs> I've seen it all now. What is happening? <laughs> what is this madness? Surely this dude's gonna cause an accident. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so my work day is over, thank goodness. Um, and I'm now with Shay filling up the car. And then we're going to go home and have pizza um and kind of like a chilled out evening it is so cold i'm dreading taking rosie out because i'm actually just so cold um we've just walked around sainsbury's um it was pretty good i only bought a nighty i bought like pajamas basically that's pretty good for me um and deodorant which is a necessity so yeah nice chilled out evening hopefully um that's the plan anyway Okay, so day two of the snow white oven calendar and ooh, we have a nail file with little cute little apples on it. Um, this will actually be really handy to put in my little manicure set because the one I have at the moment is like completely used up basically so that will replace that one. Okay. Was it day 13 yesterday? Yes, yeah, so we're on day 14 today. Where are you, day 14? Day 14 up here. Oh! oh. We have a Lipstick Queen Frog Prince lipstick. This is a lipstick that is green and then turns like supposedly your perfect shade of pink. I have this. I wonder if this is full size or a mini. I'm going to have to pull out my full size one. Because yeah, I do already own that. But that's a really cool thing because Lipstick Queen lipsticks are really expensive okay day 14 oh it's not a lint chocolate ball it's a cute little chocolate book hey guys so i'm ready for bed i put my new nighty on that i bought in sainsbury's and it's mickey and minnie mouse which is just the most adorable thing ever um so i'm hoping for a kind of early-ish night i know i went to bed like really early last night and i felt so much better for it like having that little bit more sleep going to bed earlier i woke up headache free um just felt much better like i'd had the right amount of sleep whatever that is um i just felt a bit more ready to face the day which never happens um but i want to have a fairly early-ish night tonight not like last night but um i don't want to go to bed too late because i want to get up reasonably early tomorrow morning um as i want to get sort of wash my hair dressed and everything um before the post is due just in case anything arrives um and i also like i said i want to get on with my christmas wrapping tomorrow and um i want to definitely wrap my mum's presents while she's out of the house because she will be at work so i want to get sort of hers definitely done um before she gets home so yeah just I, and i feel like if i sleep too late 
one of my like I've almost wasted one of my days off if that makes sense um so yeah like the longer I sleep in at the weekend like while a lion is nice if I sleep too much I feel like one of like I've slept my days off away so it's finding like the balance um so yeah my biggest goal for tomorrow is Christmas wrapping I don't know what's happened to my hair this evening but I quite it's been up all day probably but I've just brushed it before I go to bed and I actually quite like how my hair looks this evening literally as I'm about to go to bed and ruin it oh, great um to update you reading wise um still obviously reading Christmas to remember um and I've only just started the final story which is Duke's Christmas Wish I've only read like two pages I haven't got any reading done today um I really want to finish this book though so I can read something else I don't feel like I can move on and read something else until I finished it um which is annoying I did come home to some book mail which was exciting so I came home to um Seduction of a Highland Lass which is the second book in the McCabe trilogy so now I think I have the whole of this trilogy in paperback now um which is amazing like literally I've loved this series and then I also got Never Seducer Scott which is the first book in the Montgomery's and Armstrong so I now have both books that are out in this series in paperback as well so I'm really happy that should now be all of all of the Highlander books by Maya Banks in paperback so they came really quite quickly I'm quite impressed with that um and then the other thing that arrived was this um, and this is the Dirty Dancing Beauty Palette by Solar. Solar Look. Um, this is crazy. Like, I got, I saw this on Beauty Bay yesterday. Didn't pay for expedited shipping. And yet, here it is. Um, there's not much to this palette. Um, just looks like this. It has sort of features from Dirty Dancing on it. Um, if I can open it without ruining it. So comes with a liquid lipstick in there. And it's what it looks like. And it also has um it says nobody puts baby in a corner. Oh, I don't know how I can see it. And pictures on it there. Um I really wanted it mainly for the novelty of it, I think. Um and it is beautiful. The only thing that I'm not a fan of is this front section of the palette. It's quite I don't know if you can hear that. But it's like the paper that it's sort of wrapped in. There's a lot of, sounds like there's a lot of air. Um, it's quite chunky. Um, but it's beautiful. And like I said, like, it's mainly for the novelty of it more than anything. And the fact that the sleeve comes like that. And they also do a grease one, which I've got my eye on. Um, but I was originally, my mum was um and um about giving me that for Christmas. Um. But sort of, she decided against it, so I was like, "I'll buy it later." Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it, I think, guys. Um, not an exciting week, but um, like I said before in previous vlogs, not just in Vlogmas, I always find it quite hard to sort of weekly vlog because for so much of my week I'm at work and I can't vlog really while I'm at work um you know with data protection and the confidential stuff that I deal with um I can't I can't vlog the office I can't vlog me work like I can't I can't vlog any of it um and that's you know a huge chunk of my work week um or a huge chunk of my week taken up by work and so I'm always worried like that my vlogs are boring um a few people have messaged saying that they just love me chatting away um which is sweet because I feel like I do go on um but yeah it's nice it's nice to vlog and get like your thoughts out there but as well like I'm always worried that like I've said people will be bored um so yes but here I am anyway um I actually, Shay asked me earlier because I said to him that I was going to Christmas wrap tomorrow. And he was like, how many presents do you think you actually have to wrap? It's 
quite a lot. Um, at an estimate, I think it's about 40 presents. I think. That could be overshooting it, but I think it's about that, if not more than that. Um, so, yeah, like, that will take a huge chunk of my day. And I, I hate doing my Christmas wrapping in drips and drabs. Like, I have to have everything and I have to just do it all in one day. I can't start it and stop it. I hate doing that. Um, I like to know that I've got everything for everyone and just do it in one fell swoop because then I can put all the tags on, put them in the like the relevant gift bags and everything, label them, and it's just done. And then I don't have to do any more. I like that feeling. So that's what we'll be doing tomorrow, guys. <laughs>